Hey everyone, Justin here with Prismatic Powders. Today we're going to talk about what you should consider when choosing the right gun tip for the job. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this content helpful. Now let's get to it. Now there are three main tip designs with some variety in each category. We have conical, fan, and castle. Each one of these will spray a different pattern and allow a different flow of powder. Although it does make sense to choose the tip based upon the shape of the parts you're spraying, but you need to consider the powder you're spraying as well. For example, when you spray metallics, you want to select a tip that will not concentrate those metallics in the powder. So using something like a conical tip will help distribute the metallic flake, giving a much better result. Basically, you're balancing the shape of the parts you're spraying and the powder you're spraying to determine the best tip selection. The main focus here is to help you understand what each tip does, so you can make a more educated decision when it comes to spraying or even acquiring a different tip for your gun. Let's start with the fan tip. Fan tips come in a variety of widths, but basically these tips are to concentrate the flow of powder to a narrow stripe. A lot of times, applicators will use these tips to get the powder to lay in a narrow space or even Faraday areas, and sometimes large flat surfaces. Castle tips. Now there are also a wide variety of options in the castle tip category. These kinds of tips generally allow for a greater flow of powder. That flow is determined by the amount of slots that there are in the tip itself. The more slots, the greater the flow. These are the kind of, you know, jack of all trades tips as they do create a heavier concentration of powder in the center of the pattern, but also have some nice fogging characteristics around the outside of the pattern. Conical tip. Conical tips will create a fog pattern as the powder flows past the diffuser, which creates a less dense spray pattern. This pattern also wraps well around corners and rounded shapes. These conical nozzles come in a variety of sizes as well, each one restricting or dilating the diameter of the pattern and density of the powder. As I did mention before, they are also the tip that works best for our metallics and many textures. So that's it for today's video. Feel free to comment or ask any questions below, and we'll see you next time. Um, tip for your not for your nozzle. What? Wait, did I wait, what? choose a tip based upon the shape of the parts you're spraying? But you need to consider that I just went way. I feel like my eyes were lazy on that. Me. Like and subscribe if you find this content helpful.